In this video, I will show you how the entropy of a system depends on its temperature and volume. We will prove this equation first for an ideal gas and then for all matters. So we have this integral of CV dt over t and the integral of beta over kappa times dv. Uh, first, we define beta. Beta is simply how the relative volume depends on temperature under constant pressure condition. Kappa is how the relative volume depends on pressure under constant temperature condition. Uh, this negative sign is placed here to ensure that the value of kappa for most substances is positive. And then beta over kappa is equal to, here is the definition of beta, here is the definition of kappa, 1 over V and 1 over V cancel, we have negative, this delta V over delta T on top of delta V over delta P. The reciprocal of delta V over delta P is delta P over delta V. You have to make sure that they have the same subscripts. And then over here we use the so-called triple product rule to get delta P over delta, v, uh, delta T at a constant volume condition. And then we can see that uh, for an ideal gas, dq reversible is equal to du minus dw reversible. Uh, this is just the first law of thermodynamics. U can be changed via q or w. And then for ideal gas, du only depends on dt, it's cv dt. We can prove this using a isochoric process. And then dw is negative p external dv. For a reversible process, P external equals P. Therefore, we have CVDT plus PDV over here. And then this is the definition of the entropy. This is an indirect definition because we have DS equals DQ reversible over T. And we integrate DS. We have this integral here. We plug in DQ reversible. And um, DQ reversible is CVDT plus PDV. So we got this expression here. Now we prove this P over T is beta over kappa for ideal gas. For ideal gas, beta over kappa is delta P over delta V over constant volume at constant volume condition. And the pressure is NRT over V for ideal gas. Therefore, beta over kappa is simply NR over V, and that's simply P over T. So this equation is proven for an ideal gas. Now, for all matters, we have to be more rigorous. Now this internal energy may depend on temperature and volume. So du is expanded into two terms, delta u over delta t for isochoric process times dt, and then delta u over delta v for isothermal process times dv. And then this dw reversible is negative p dv. And with one more negative sign here, it's plus p dv. OK, this term is c sub v. Okay, again, for isochoric process, du is simply dqv is cv dt. So we have cv dt here. And then this is so-called internal pressure. For a van der Waals gas, this is just the attraction term, uh, A over molar volume squared. For some other real gases, delta u over delta v should depend on both uh, attraction and repulsion. Again, the name of this is internal pressure, and we can derive this rigorously uh, using one of the Maxwell relations. And delta U over delta V is simply T times delta S over delta V at a constant, at a constant temperature. And using the Maxwell relations, delta S over delta V at a constant temperature equals delta P over delta T at a constant volume. And then so we can, we can expand this here. And then remember, du equals um, T dash minus PDV, and minus PDV over dV is negative P. So that's the expression of delta U over delta V. Again, you have to expand this du into T dash minus PDV. And then you have dS over dV at a constant temperature, which is dP over dT at a constant volume. And then you have also uh, another term, which is negative PDV over dV, that's just negative P. And then we copy this PDV right here. 
and you can see negative PDV and positive PDV cancel. So we have this term left. That's DQ reversible for all matters. And then the change of entropy is simply the integral of DQ reversible over temperature. We plug in DQ reversible. This is DQ reversible. And we have this expression. Again, delta P over delta T under constant volume condition, isochoric condition, is simply beta over kappa. So this is replaced with beta over kappa. This is a general equation for the entropy change of any system when temperature and volume changes. For liquids and solids, beta and kappa are nearly constants, so they can be taken out of the integral, and then we have a simplified equation here.